Roar. She means the lion's roar. Today we have lots of fun and interesting things scheduled. No one cares. Then why are they watching us? They're not watching you. They're watching me. Oh. So yeah, lots of cool things. Not just any cool things. We'll, today we will tell you about flag football, open house, Hearst Castle, coding, the lunchtime talent show, and weather. Weather? Is that really necessary? Instead we could talk about me. Okay. Campbell is a complete, amazing, wonderful, awesome person? That is not what I was going to say. Really? What were you going to say, Brayden? Nothing. Well, it's that unfortunate time to watch those other boring people. Hey! That wasn't very nice. So? Just start flag football. But, but me! Just roll us! Get out of my shot! <laughs> okay. Look out! Guys, we're on air. Whoops, oh, I'm really sorry. I thought you were the quarterback. Yeah, you're fought. Uh, anyway. Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome to, to the Lion's Roar. Roar. I'm Zion. And I'm Adam. And I'm Raph. And we're, we're here, here to tell you about flag football. I love the sport because you get to tackle a ton. Uh, no. Flag football is just like normal football, just no tackling. Yeah, exactly. Whatever. At least we get helmets. Uh, still no. <sighs> Flag football is led by Mr. Patterson. Each team passes the ball to their teammates and tries to score in the end zone. And if your flag is pulled, the play stops. See you in the studio, Campbell and Braden. <coughs> I'm glad that is over. Now I'll have you read my fan mail to the audience. But we are supposed to be announcing things. Then announce my fan mail. Okay, let me see. Here's one. Dear Campbell, you are truly amazing. I hope you will put the picture that I enclosed in your room. Love, Chloe. Oh, good. I'll make sure to send her my generic thank you slip with my signature printed on it. What's next? Dear Campbell, I know where you live. I also know everything about you. I've been following I've been following you since the first grade. Sincerely, undisclosed. Oh, this undisclosed sounds very scary, but like a big fan. Campbell, undisclosed is not a person. It's an adjective meaning not revealed or made known publicly. You should know this. It was on our vocabulary quiz. I don't pay attention in class. Do you want to watch yourself? I don't think so. I think my awesomeness would blind me. I don't think it will. Then sure. So let's roll open house. Watch for me. Campbell here. And I'm Catherine. My name's Chloe. And I'm Taylor. Oh, never mind them. Hey. This show's all about me. Now for the Campbell Show. No? No. Seriously, Campbell? Well, sorry for being so talented. OK. Well, today, in this episode, we are going to be talking about... Open House! Who's Open House? He lives under the school and eats children. Open House is not a who! Alright, calm down, everyone. We were just about to explain Open House when you so rudely interfered. It's okay, Campbell. It's okay. Ha! I tricked you! <laughs> hey! Moving on. Did I mention I'm Campbell? Yes. Moving on. 
one, open houses a day where parents get to see what we're working on in school. Some of the things we will be showing include a reenactment on Greek pottery, some of our writing pieces from over the year, and much more. I'm sorry. I feel I'm not getting my first year of spotlight here. Um, you're even, you're lucky you're even in this. And you are too blank face. <gasps> you want to go? You want to go? You want to go? <laughs> Moving on, we dress up like Greek gods and goddesses. I thought we were running around with our animal underwear. You mean our costumes? No. Okay. Have you forgotten about me? No, but we almost forgot all about the photos from Open House. Roll it now. No, roll it now. Really education words. And people say, well, what does that mean? So I'm trying to quantify that a little bit with a couple. <laughs> Well, that was A W E S O M E. With an L. No, with a Campbell. Oh, Catherine spelled it right the first time. Oh, yeah, and that's how you spell my name, too. We all wish. That's not the way it goes, Catherine. Back to the point. That was awesome. Yeah, almost as awesome as Ninja Turtles. And me. Okay, well. Well? I don't know. What else do we have to cover? Does that mean there's time for the Campbell Show? No! no. I'm Campbell and I'm Quick, now's our chance to end the show. Wait! Well, that's a... Oh, wait! Cut! Uh, I didn't realize how talented I am. You mean you think that in an, un an unsuccessful attempt to be the only person in the spotlight is talent? Yes. Uh, let's just show her's castle. Do me a favor and skip that one. Why? I'm in it. Because you already are getting way too much camera time. Just as much as you are. I'm special. She got that one right. <laughs> Excuse me? Can we please just roll it? If we have to. Hello there, I'm Dania. I'm Adelina. And I'm Noah. Today we will be talking about the sixth graders' trip to Hearst Castle. Did somebody say Hearst Castle? Yes, but who are you? I'm Brayden, and I'm looking for ancient art, and I heard that William Randolph Hearst created quite a, collected quite a few pieces. William Randolph Hearst had many ancient Greek, Roman, and Egyptian art pieces. That is why we sixth graders took a field trip to Hearst Castle. Selfie! We are trying to film here. Can't you just go to Hearst Castle and take some pictures? I could. William Randolph Hearst was born in 1836 and died in 1951. During his lifetime, he built Hearst Castle inspired by many of the things he saw on tour of Europe. Of course he did it when in his lifetime. I mean, how could he build anything when he's dead? I don't know. I guess he could have left the plans to make the castle bigger and better. What Hearst could have done is not important. Let's focus on what he did do. I wish that we had some decent pictures of Hearst Castle. Now we do. Check out the photos that I took. You're back. Yeah. Let him show them the pictures.
was really cool. Yeah, I want to go again. Thanks for watching on The, the Lion's Roar! Beep. I guess you were okay. Really? No. I have a fun fact for the audience. I have somehow survived being in Campbell's class all year. You probably just haven't seen me at my best yet. Well, it's time to see coding. I love coding. You mean you love asking people to make your code? The teachers don't need to know that. Oh yeah, it would be such a shame if all those A's got lowered to F's. That wouldn't be a problem. I just asked somebody to hack power school for me. Yeah, I doubt that. You are boring me. Show coding. Hi, my name is Raphael. And I'm Adam. And today we're going to be talking about computer programming here at Loams. I made a mistake. What was your problem? I don't know. I just can't make my character move. Hmm. This has happened to me before. What type of game are you trying to make? I'm trying to make a game where there's a maze and you get money at the end. What else? Did you use the if right arrow click block? No, I don't think I did. I'll fix this. How are you still good at coding? Lots and lots of practice. And our teachers. We have barely been doing Scratch for two weeks. Actually, that's not true. We've been doing many different kinds of coding, not just Scratch. Oh yeah, like the HTML and processing as well. Yeah, HTML is my favorite. So, three weeks of coding. But we learned so much in those weeks, I'm already good at processing or JavaScript. Yeah, so far we have finished making faces with processing and websites with HTML coding. It was hard. But fun too. Definitely. Coding can be extremely helpful. You can basically make anything. Websites, games, even robots can be made with code. So far, we've made drawings and websites completely out of code. We learned a lot. Are you guys taking coding classes next year? Hopefully. Yeah. Cool. I'm so excited. And next year, we can become even more of a code master. Pretty sure it's another thing. Shh. Oh, right. Anyway, I'm glad that we had our coding unit. But it's not just us that was learning code. Let's show you some examples of other people's code. Hello there, my name is Brayden, and I'm going to show you my Scratch game. Right now we are looking at the intro where the ancient Egyptian artifacts are disappearing. Now this is where the game begins. You press space like the little Egyptian guy tells you to, and you essentially need to avoid the objects, like this. And then, when you reach a portal, it asks you a question, and you need to answer the question correctly to move on. If you hit the objects, you lose a life. South to north. So, so this is the final part of level one, where you need to avoid the giant clay pot. And if you type in a wrong answer, like let's say I thought it was 23, it just asks you to answer the question again. By the way, the correct answer is 15. So then it tells me that I've completed level one and I move on to level two. So in level two, I'm essentially navigating myself through mazes. If I wanted to, I could have grabbed the key and gotten a treasure point, but I don't really need to. Again, I need to reach the portal. And that is essentially it. Thank you for watching. Hi, my name is Parker, and today I'll be showing you my uh, scratch game. I made it for the Egypt unit, and uh, in this, it's um, it has like Egyptian mythology and stuff, and uh, this game, it's kind of a platform type of game where like you have to jump around mostly, and uh, it just has facts and things about Egypt. And you know, kind of like did you know type of trivia. And at the end, you have to uh, answer three questions based on what you learned. And uh, and it also has an amazing soundtrack. And um, uh, 
very fun to play. <laughs> so now we are at the end where you fight the uh, chaos snake named Apophis, who's like, you know, the guy. <laughs> um, okay, you have to put in the correct answers. And then he is Darth Vader, and then the music screws up, and then we have a funny animation. And that's basically my game. Hello, this is <clears throat> my Egyptian scratch game called Race of the Treasure that I made for the Egyptian scratch unit. Uh, it begins with an explorer trying, trying to get through a pyramid to get to the treasure at the end. To get to progress to the pyramid, he has to answer a series of questions. The first question is, what was Egypt? Which is pretty easy, it, it was an ancient empire. I made all of the characters myself and the back backdrops using Scratch. Okay. However, the questions get harder as you progress to the pyramid <clears throat> until you get to the middle. This question is how many letters are in the hieroglyphic alphabet, which there, there are hundreds of them. Thank, thank you for <clears throat> watching my Scratch Project. They are really good. Yeah. Well, that's it for... The, the Lion's Roar! Roar. Roar! Back to you in the studio, Mr. Jarvis. I don't look like Mr. Jarvis. Maybe I do. Yeah, you do. <laughs> Wait, I just realized, but by asking my viewers not to listen to you, I made my fans stop watching me. I'm so sorry, fans. At least they know that you have the word sorry in your vocabulary. How could someone so talented not know the word sorry? I know that there's a lot of talent at the Lunchtime Talent Show. I have a fun fact. Brayden doesn't know real talent, even when it's standing right in front of him. And he likes to play dress up with his cat. You are so annoying sometimes. I think it's time that we stay, take away your status as anchor. No, I think that you have to go. Then there's only way to, one way to solve this. Rock, paper, scissors! I was thinking of having me vote on who is more awesome, but rock, paper, scissors is fine. Okay. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. scissors. <laughs> What do you guys think you're doing? You totally delayed the show. Rock, paper, scissors, do you guys stay anchor? Just show lunchtime talent show. He can't be for real. I won. Uh, no you didn't, and I agree with him. Oh, sure you do. Hi, I'm Kelby. Hi, and I'm Adam. Today, we'll be performing for you. <laughs> Adam, we aren't performing. Other students here at Loams are. Aw, I wanted to show Loams my sweet moves. Do the Adam shake. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe another time. Anyways, the 6th, 7th, and 8th graders here at Loams signed up for Loams Got Talent. Loams Got Talent is a lunchtime talent show that was held in late March. Students sang, acted, and even danced to their favorite songs. And performed some skits. This whole production was put on by some of Mr. Hoskins' ASB students. He did an awesome job. And so did the people in the show. What was your favorite act? I don't know, I can't choose. They were all amazing. Here's some exclusive footage of the show auditions. Third base. Okay, uh, who was that first second?
second is on the ticket, what is on the ticket? No, why is it the outfit? You don't get it? Who is on the ticket? Who is on first? Second is on the ticket. And why is on first? So, why is this? Second base. First base. Now you're getting it. I don't even know anyone. Oh, that's our shortstop. Thanks for watching on The Lion's Roar. Back to you in the studio, Mr. Jarvis. I'm glad that we got to see some real talent. And that we're about to see more. We are? You're looking at it. Oh, well we still have one more report, weather. Did we decide to skip that one? No. No. <laughs> but none of the show has been about me. A segment on you is the last thing that the lion's roar needs. Easy for you to say. Campbell, we are going to see weather. But weather is the most- Hi, I'm Osmond Oswald with your local news report. And I'm Emily Demeanor. And I'm Frederick Pumpernickel. Today it's raining cats and dogs. No, it is actually raining cheeseburgers. Oh my gosh, it's actually raining cheeseburgers? Anyways, time to pull out those umbrellas and get out those forks. Um, well, anyways, Walmart recently raised pay for their employees by 40%. Their employees replied by saying, yes, now we can afford to shop at Target. Really? Yes. We have breaking news. Let's go to Annabeth Hatter with the info. We have a wanted suspect for stealing airheads. We believe he goes by the name of... Mr. Jarvis. That's my teacher. Shh. Huh? Shh. You spit on me, but um, okay. We have security footage from Los Osos Middle School of the suspect. Roll the footage. All the kids are working. They won't notice me stealing their airheads. <laughs> He looks suspicious. We should hire Sherlock. Who? Sherlock Holmes. Holmes. He's my Holmesy. Get it? Get it? Holmes? Um, yeah, we, we get it. <laughs> and now for the weather. We already did the weather. We already, yeah. <laughs> oh. Now for your local events. There's a new club in town called the Cool Kids Club. You're not invited. Well, I wouldn't want to be there anyways if you were there. You're fired. What? I don't want to be... You know what? You're fired! You don't have the authority uh. to do that. Um, I'm sorry, but I don't think it works that way. Neither do you! Um, okay then. Well, that's all for now. See you next time on... The, the Lion's Roar. Roar! Wait, this is for a Lion's Roar? I got cut off. That was a great show. But I got cut off. So? I was just about to insult weather. I am so sorry for your loss. You better be. Can you just stop thinking about yourself? I'm thinking about how the, all the people should see me for their benefit. Oh, just what I thought. I think that it's time for me to give my ending speech. Cue music. <laughs> Enough music. Cue confetti. Uh, we're all out of confetti. Just throw something. Okay. Ah! Thank you for watching. The Campbell's Roar! You mean the lion's roar. Hey! Cut! Scooch over a little, hold on, just rolling, scooch oh, over. Over, 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 oh, over. Go, Brayden! Perfect, right, stop. No, 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 left, left. Right, right. Stop. Like right. A little right. to your left. Stop. Okay. And take us through. Anchors.
final, take two, in five, four, three. I'd rather throw a pilot. <laughs> Did I just hear that? Can we maybe interview you guys later for the, like, the basis of the talent show, like, how the lunchtime one is working? Can we interview you guys a little bit later? Oh, yeah, for sure. Can we just go <laughs> Anchors, final, in five, four, three. Yeah, I know. Oh, God. Okay. Beach, Nebraska. Oh, no, you need to handle oh, the envelope. Okay. Wait, am I in the <laughs> 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 <laughs>